Hello and welcome to The Sacred Path. Today, I want to talk to you about weapons. Listen to what the Apostle Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10. It says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but they are divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. Divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. So let me talk to you about four weapons at your disposal any minute of the day. Number one is the Word of God. It's your sword. Remember in, 1 Corinthians, or in Ephesians chapter 6, the Apostle Paul talks about the full armor of God. All of those pieces of the armor are defensive except the sword, which is, he says, the Word of God. So the Word of God is a chief weapon in your arsenal when it comes to spiritual warfare. Secondly is the blood of Jesus. Well, in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, it says, They overcame him, him being the enemy, with two things with the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. So let me tell you that oftentimes you just want to plead the blood of Jesus over something. Just That's a powerful thing. I plead the blood of Jesus over this. Apply the blood. It is the most powerful thing in the world. It's the purchasing agent of your soul. Of course, the word of your testimony is the second part of that. I am saved. I know it. I speak it. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, the psalmist says. And finally, the name of Jesus. That is the name that is above every other name in heaven or on earth or below the earth or above the earth. So you could use that name as a powerful offensive weapon against the enemy and even even against uh, situations. I just speak the name of Jesus right now, that powerful name. So today, go to war, know what your warfare, what, what your weapons are, and do it well.